On this Sunday afternoon, Kobe Ferguson is recounting the terror attacks against Israel October 7th. Hamas terrorists flooded Israel that day. Thousands, an evading army. Ferguson is CEO of the ministry Maos Israel. Maos is Hebrew for strength. And Ferguson, a U.S. citizen, has lived in Israel the past 25 years. His wife's parents started the ministry more than 50 years ago as a way to bring the gospel to the Jewish people. While the deadly terror attacks of October didn't change the vision for Maos Israel, the ministry's approach has shifted. We did anything we could to help our people in the worst crisis that we've ever experienced. So we went into areas that were dramatically impacted, began to help those soldiers who were being called up with very uh, practical needs and also help evacuees and people that were hurting uh, because of being relocated. And really we're dealing with a refugee crisis in Israel that we've never experienced before. So our ministry wanted to find ways to just serve and help however we could. Maos Israel has chronicled its relief efforts through videos that can be found on the ministry's website, on YouTube, and other social media platforms. The ministry has provided food, clothes, and other necessities to civilians and soldiers. So we finally got here. We're on the border of Gaza, bringing some amazing young men and women some much needed food, nutrition, and equipment that they could use. The ministry has also ventured into neighborhoods targeted by Hamas terrorists. This home belonged to the Sharabi family. The girls, they killed them first. Let the parents watch. Ferguson says it's important to show the world what happened October 7th and also to call Christians to prayer and action. We think it's an amazing time now, like no other in history, for the Lord to connect his church worldwide with the people of Israel. Now is the time to stand with Israel. I want the church around the world to stand up. You know, the church was really silent through the Holocaust, unfortunately. But I, I think we're in a different era, and I'm seeing a church, yes, unfortunately, many of the church is ignorant regarding Israel. They're uninformed. They're still rejecting. But a lot of the church would be considered lovers of Israel and standing with Israel in their worst time of need. So we want to connect with Christians who are supporting Israel. Although Ferguson and his family weren't forced to leave their home, his oldest daughter is serving in the Israeli military. Those children are our buffer zone between horror and evil that wants to destroy us. And we just are praying that the Lord will protect them and keep them. And really they're keeping a flood of evil that will also meaning to come over and destroy Christians, no matter where they are in the world as well. John Riley is an on-air personality with American Family Radio. He has made more than 30 trips to Israel and has family and friends there. Riley says events like the Stand with Israel rally are important. That's what this is all about. You know, we, we can't just sit back and say, well, you know, um, it's, it's so sad with what's going on there in the land of Israel, but taking an opportunity to come together and say, we're going to pray, we're going to stand, and we're going to do everything we can to, to not back down with our support of the Jewish people in the land of Israel. While Ferguson says it is always good to visit with believers in America, he is looking forward to returning to Israel and with the Lord's help, along with prayer and support from Christians worldwide, continuing the work of Maos Israel. Telling your story in Ripley, Ali Martin, WCBI News.